टुडे इन फिजिक्स इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एंड इलेक्ट्रिक वेट नाउ टू सी फॉर मेमरिकल मेमरिकल इज लाइक दिस वे जस्ट यू कैन सी हियर दैट द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्री कंपोनेंट इन फिगर ex is equal to alpha x is 1 by 2 ey is equal to 0 ez is equal to 0 in such alpha is equal to 800 newton per coulomb meter is to 1/2 calculate the flux through the tube and second uh, the charge which within the tube the charge within the tube that we will calculate assume that a is equal to 0.1 meter and epsilon 0 is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb upon newton into meter square now you can see here suppose uh, this is a, a cube this is a cube whose one side is kept on x axis and as the here the each side of the cube are uh, same that is a and uh, uh, this is x axis and this is y axis this is z axis and uh, from here to here that is a uh, e and uh, this side is e now the total here there are uh, six phase one phase is here this this is the first phase and uh, this is the second phase the area vector of this first phase is a1 area vector of this will be a2 all the area vectors are normal to the each phase and field due to e y and e z is zero and the field on x direction that is e x now area vector here the field this is e1 and here field is e2 here area vector and e1 both are opposite to each other so anti parallel here here that is a e2 and e e2 they are parallel to each other now other phase that is your third four five and six these are the these phase are normal to the field ex that's why the flux on this phase will be zero so here the q is kept on x axis there are six phase four phase four phase are are normal to electric field Therefore, the angle with theta is equal to plus minus pi by two. So, therefore, the fl the flux on this phase the flux in this phase will be zero. now the flux on set this phase 1 and 2 phase 1 and 2 is given by phi 1 is equal to E one dot E one is equal to E one K one cos theta one. That is both are anti-parallel, so finding one eighty degree. 
Now e1 is given that e1 means e x is alpha into x raised to one by e. A1 is a square cos 180 minus one. Now for this phase, the distance from the O is a. So therefore x is equal to a. And for minus a raised to one by two a square into alpha. So can in power may be added to so finally we can get here minus a is to pi by two alpha. This is equation number one. Now for phase two, for phase two this is pi one. Phase two that is pi two is equal to e two dot a two is equal to e two a two cos zero because both are parallel to each other. So theta will be here. So e2 we know that here that is a uh, alpha x is to one by two into a2 is a square into cos zero is one. Simplifying, therefore alpha now here the distance from here to that is here two k. So finally we can write here that is alpha into under root of two k into a square. Therefore alpha. Root two a raised to pi by two. Equation number two. Now the total flux is given by that is a pi is equal to pi one plus pi two is equal to minus a raised to pi by two into alpha plus root two a raised to pi by two into alpha. Taking the common here, that is a a raised to pi by two. Alpha common that is root two minus one. A is two. A is equal to zero point one minus two pi by two. Alpha is eight hundred into one point four one four minus one. Simplifying, we get here one point zero five a newton meter square of ampoule. That is total flux. Now we will get the charge enclosed in this cube is given by the charge. And close by this cube, the charge and close by this cube is given by that is a phi is equal to q upon epsilon zero. Therefore, q is equal to Pi into epsilon zero. Pi is the one that is obtained. That is pi one point zero pi into epsilon zero eight point eight pi into ten to the power minus twelve. Simplifying, we we'll get here that is charge Q is equal to nine point three into ten to the power minus twelve. So uh, this way to understand this numerical cube. This numerical cube is kept on this axis, and uh, cube has a, a six phase, a four phase whose area vector is normal to the field. Therefore, the flux will be zero. Here, the shaded portion of the phase that is phase one and phase two. For phase one, the field and area vector anti-parallel to each other. Therefore, the flux is given by E one dot E one. E1 E1 cos 180 and keeping the value of E1 E1 and finally we can get here minus e raised to pi by 2 into alpha equation one. Similarly, the four phase two field and area vector are parallel to each other and finally the distance is given that is x is equal to 2a and cos is x is equal to a and we have plus pi 2 is equal to e2 e2. Uh, cos zero, cos zero is one. E two is given that is alpha into root x. Keeping the value of x is two uh, uh, a and uh, alpha and finally we can get here pi two is equal to uh, root two a raised to pi by two into alpha. Total flux is given by pi one plus pi two. Keeping all these values at the last, we have to get here one point zero pi newton meters square upon coulomb. And we know that according to Gauss law, pi is equal to q upon epsilon zero q. Now charge q is equal to pi into epsilon zero. Pi is one point zero pi into epsilon zero eight point eight pi 
into 10 to the power minus 12 simplifying you will get here that is 9.3 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb so this way to understand this thank you